The vast majority believe keyboards are, well, just keyboards, including myself. That's until I started typing on a mechanical keyboard. So what is it about mechanical keyboards that garners such a strong fan base? And is it honestly worth, well, the switch? Let's chat about it. As someone who works a scary amount of hours in front of a computer running a business, I do type quite a lot. I previously used the Logitech K750, a wireless solar powered keyboard, which was frankly the most convenient keyboard I've ever used. The entire couple years I used it, I did not need to charge it once thanks to its solar panel that converted any light into energy. The K750 features a scissor switch on a rubber dome, so the typing experience was flat and sort of boring. Mechanical keyboards on the other hand are mechanical because each key is individually engineered with springs that activate with each separate keystroke. To complicate things a little more, mechanical keyboards come with a range of different switch types and they're typically categorized as linear, tactile and clicky. Switch customization is seen as a perk of mechanical keyboards, which membrane or rubber keyboards don't provide. The first mechanical keyboard I bought on a whim was the Keychron K2 with Gatoron brown switches. It's affordable, pairs up perfectly with the MacBook, and looks really sleek. Initially, I thought it looked like a cooler version of my old school Acer keyboard when I was growing up. When I started typing, it was such a nice change. There was so much tactile feedback in comparison to a standard rubber dome keyboard, so much so your fingers are almost able to springboard from key to key faster than usual. After a couple rounds on Type Racer and some getting used to this new sensation, my words per minute average increased. The RGB lighting options you get are also fun if that's your type of thing. I personally keep it simple and stick with a single color lighting when I'm working at night. More recently, I switched over to the new Keychron K3, which is basically a slim version of the K2. Slim mechanical keyboards are a bit of a rarity and just be wary that they fall on customization compared to the standard high profile keycap keyboards. I made the switch because I missed the short travel distance of laptop keyboards and the overall aesthetic of a low profile keyboard now that I've also re the home office space. In my opinion, it looks far better than the K2 and it fits the Grovemade wrist rest and Apple Magic trackpad perfectly. Most importantly though, it feels even better to type on than the K2 and that's saying something. I opted for the Gatoron Blue switches this time around and it's arguably now my favorite switch type. The tactical response and audible feedback while typing is literally light years ahead of any non-mechanical keyboard I've typed on, which includes the latest MacBook keyboard, which by no means is a bad keyboard. I actually haven't yet tested this keyboard on Type Racer yet, so let's see how I go now actually. So I just hit 140 words per minute and mind you, I usually type at an average of I guess 110 to 130 max, so I'm pretty happy with this result. I think my only gripe is the fact that battery life is poor, especially with the K3. You get about 240 hours with the K2 and only 99 hours with the K3 Slim, significantly less if you were to have the RGB lighting on all day. Coming from a solar powered keyboard where I never had to once charge it, it can be inconvenient to have your keyboard die on you while midway through work, but it's a small price to pay for a far superior typing experience. Okay, so overall, why should you consider buying a mechanical keyboard over other keyboards? There are a few reasons. Number one, increased typing speed and accuracy. Number two, they're more durable. And number three, it's so much more satisfying to type on. Ultimately though, it is of course a personal choice. I think Keychron keyboards act as a great gateway into the world of more mechanical keyboards where it gets much more deeper and fanatical than what you're seeing in this video. But if you're looking for an improved typing experience, want to increase your day-to-day productivity or you simply just want to type a lot more and you do type a lot more and you're a student or a business owner 
and you enjoy typing, then you can't go wrong with a mechanical keyboard. I also forgot to mention that all the keyboards that I've shown today are all wireless. I'm a big fan of wireless tech and less cables, the better. I'll leave direct links to the keyboards in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. And if you made it this far, to the end of this video, comment clicky down below and let me know what your favorite keyboard is yourself. I'll leave more videos on screen here for you to binge. Plus, if you enjoy this video, support this channel by liking this video and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be the first to see the new videos coming out. We're all about online business, digital marketing and techie here on this channel and I'd love for you to join this family. As always, thank you for watching.